Joining us now on the MMA Fight Corner, Joseph Benavides, who's fighting Tim Elliott at UFC 172. That's coming up this Saturday and on pay-per-view. Joseph, you're fighting on the preliminary card in Baltimore. Tell me, though, because you have Andre Feely with you and Danny Castillo on the same card, does this feel more like you're in Sacramento? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, a little bit. You know, it definitely feels like kind of like home and very familiar wherever my team is. Um, So, yeah, it's perfect. You know, we always have, I think, a really good showing. We get to fight on the same card and, you know, get to travel all the way down here to the East Coast, not only with, you know, my teammates and go to work together, but, you know, the cornermen we get to bring, you know, we pretty much got a whole team here, you know, just because we all have our cornermen and everything as well. So, uh, you know, it definitely helps, you know, even though it's an individual sport, you know, having that support of your of your team and kind of going in and, and doing it together, you know, it always uh, it always helps out. So, you know, we're looking to go 3 for 0 and, and make a good night for the team. Being that Andre is the one who has the pay-per-view spotlight and you and Danny are both on the preliminary card, I mean, that's a, is that a little weird at all? No, it's not really, it's not really weird. I mean, besides the fact, I guess, you know, me and Danny had just been in, uh, you know, in here so long. Danny actually in the WEC under Zufa before me, and you know, even me now. You know, being somewhat of a veteran, you know, I'm, uh, you know, have quite a few fights under Zufa. Um, and you know, Andre's a new young gun, you know, and that's 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 what happens. You know, we've all we've all been there. You know, you're the up and comer, and he's fighting Max Holloway, who's an awesome opponent. I mean. That'd be a shame for people not to see that fight. You know, both those guys go out there and uh, and always put on a show. So I think that's a great, you know, um, look at the future there to kick off the pay per view. And uh, you know, I think we got a solid anchor and me and Elliot, you know, for the Fox Sports One card, which is also needed. So yeah, I'm happy, man. I'm just super proud of Andre. You know, the guy's come a long way, and uh, and you know, he's really, really worked hard. And I know this is a dream come true for him. Um, you know, to be fighting on the main card, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just super excited for him and you know, I'm glad I get to get done with my fight and enjoy his and enjoy the rest of the main card. So, uh and that's always nice not having to wait to the end, uh, like I have actually the last the last few fights of mine. With Tim Elliott He's also kind of one of those up-and-comers, especially where the 125-pound division is concerned. He's fairly new to the UFC's 125-pound division. How do you feel about fighting an opponent like Tim, and uh, is it less pressure for you? I like Tim as, as an opponent. I think he's an awesome fighter. Uh, you know, he always goes out there and puts an exciting fight and brings the fight, and uh, you know, those are the kind of uh, fights I really flourish in and succeed and, and I think it will really be uh, good for me and uh, you know we both have exciting styles so I think it's going to make for a really really uh, great competitive fight um, you know but you know, I think it's my fight to win um, as far as the pressure goes you know not really any pressure um, you know I'm, I'm ranked ahead of him here so you know I got to go out there and put on a good showing and beat him that's what I'm supposed to do but you know Pressure is just kind of whatever you make it, you know, it's kind of whatever you put on yourself, you know. Um, and for me, you know, I just look at it as another fight and a chance to go out there and test my skill and have a good time. Like, you know, pressure from everyone else, you don't really feel it because it's from everyone else. So more just what I put on myself. And uh, and for this one, like I said, I'm just looking at it as a nice, you know, a nice time to go out and, uh, and, and test my skills, you know. It's against a guy like Tim Elliott, who's had some good competitive losses uh, to the top guys in the division. So to go out there and show that I'm kind of on that other level and uh, and hopefully get the finish. You spoke a bit about the mentality there of uh, being in a fight. I remember speaking to you before your fight with Demetrius, the, the rematch that you guys just had, and you had said in the first fight with him you were obsessing over the title. And... In the second fight, you said you were just trying to have more fun and go in there and do your thing. What's your mentality going into this fight? Yeah, you know, it's kind of the same way I've been. You know, aside from every fight, 
accept my first title fight. You know, I I always was kind of able to look at a fight like that and just be like, hey, you know, this is the fun part. You know, trained all the time. You know, this is going to be good. It was always just kind of another day besides uh, that first title fight to Demetrius. So, you know, it's nothing. I'm I'm really. It's just something I guess I'm going back to. You know, like. My mentality hadn't changed for the second title fight or the fights after that or the fights before that. It was really just that one fight where I was, you know, a little more, you know, obsessive and, you know, putting more pressure on myself than I needed to. Um, so it's more just going back to the to how it's always been very natural for me is just to, to look at it as another fight and another chance to go and test my skills and have a, have a good time doing what I love. And coming off of that that loss to Demetrius that you had at Fox Nine, how difficult was it for you to get right back into training and prepare for your next opponent? Yeah, well, you know it was difficult to get back in. Well, for one, I had to actually I had to take time off for myself, just health wise. You know, uh, suffering a concussion and everything. You know, it's not something you can just jump right into right so you know that actually you know i think it helped out you know i needed that break i'd had a real busy year four fights that, uh last year and uh you know just the time of, of rest and everything came at a good time with the holidays um so i was getting my rest that i needed for for my health but also just you know mentally um being able to to recover from it and and uh, during the holidays, you know, which are really important, um, you know, family is super important to me. And, you know, it kind of helped me put things in perspective and not just like, you know, at the end of the day, I lose the fight, get to go home for the holidays around the people that love me and support me. And, uh, you know, it kind of puts things in perspective. And like you lost the fight, you know, it'd be real tragedy to lose your family and friends and loved one, all these people that support you. But, you know, you lost the fight and at the end of the day, you're, still the same person to, to all those people that support and love you. Um, so, yeah, just, just help me put time, put in perspective, you know, the fact. So I think that was important in really the recovery process, too, and not to sit there and, you know, have to dwell on the loss and, and you know, question this and question that. Because at the end of the day, that fight was more of just like a test, I feel. It wasn't necessarily a learning lesson to, like, you know, like the first fight was a big learning lesson. I changed a lot. But this one was just more of a test to you know, test my confidence and my faith and everything. And uh, you know, just that recovery time that I had to take off, I think, uh, really helped me and jump right back in, you know, when I got this fight announced. And, uh, you know, have a look back. Next, Ali Bagotinov will fight Demetrius Johnson. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Bagotinov and that title fight that's coming up in the division? I think he's tough. I think Tim Elliott beat him, to tell you the truth. Uh, Elliott, who I'm fighting, I think uh, I think he won the fight against Bogatinov. Uh, that was Elliott's last fight, and uh, all his fight two fights ago. Um, so that just shows, you know, how good the division is, you know. And Elliott's down there at number eight, and for him to have such a close fight with, uh, you know, someone going for the title next. But, um, you know, all he has, you know, is good a chance as anybody. You know, that just shows, like, I was saying how competitive the division is, I guess. Um, you know, he has a good a chance to win. We're out there and beat a good uh, uh, fighter in Lineker to earn the title shot. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, Demetrius is really there on another level. It's going to take something special from Ollie. But, uh, you know, it can definitely be done. You know, it's a fight game and, you know, anything can happen. Of course, uh Dwayne Bang has been the coach over there at Team Alpha Male for a while. He'll be moving on to his own venture to open up a gym in Colorado. Is this going to be the last fight that he corners you on? And is he cornering also Andre and uh, Danny? Yeah, he's cornering all three of us. And I believe, yeah, it's the last fight. Unless we all get a fight really soon after this. Because I think his last fight with the team is going to be TJ Dillashaw's uh, title fight. Um, in May. So, yeah, this is the last fight with us. So, uh, you know, nothing's changed for us, you know, as far as preparation goes. You know, it's business as usual. We know, uh, you know, Dwayne's cornering us and coaching us and, you know, really haven't thought too much about his departure. You know, it's something I think we'll kind of worry about after. 
I mean, it's a little bummed out, you know. Uh, you know he's a great coach, and we learned a lot with him. But I think it's something we can continue to build on, and hopefully have a good relationship moving forward. Um, but um, yeah, other than that, you know, it's not like he's here for this fight, so nothing really changed. I've spoken with both TJ and Danny since the announcement, and they had said that they would probably go seek him out uh, ahead of their future camps to work with him and train. Would you do the same? Yeah, I would like to. I mean, you know, he's coach of the year for a reason. He's the best coach I've ever had. You know, uh, he understands a fighter's style and how to just, you know, make him better and compliment their style instead of change him. And uh, it was just not really enough I can say about how great of a coach he is so you know that's something that could definitely make me better so I think I guess it all depends on kind of who we bring in and how that's working out and you know if it's something you know I feel I'm learning and getting better at and building on on Dwayne stuff and still using it or uh you know if um or if it's something you know I'm not uh enjoying as much as I did uh coach bank style then uh you know, I might, I might have to seek him out as well. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Appreciate your time very much on the show here, Joseph. And we wish you all the best of luck in your fight coming up with Tim Elliott at UFC 172. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Thank you. Take care.